What are dApps? Decentralized applications, or dApps, are essentially blockchain-based smart contract-powered versions of apps popularized by the Ethereum network. They act just like traditional apps a user shouldn't even notice a difference, but provide much more in terms of a feature set. Dapps represent a new way of interacting with personal finance. When one thinks of traditional finance, often money lending, borrowing, savings and similar entities come to mind. Each of these is powered, if you will, by a central authority such as banks or other financial institutions. But when it comes to the future of finance, many consider cryptocurrencies and blockchain as representatives of that. If that's the case, how do simple financial tasks like loans work in a decentralized state? Why use a dApp? Decentralization offers various benefits over apps running on a centralized network. Chiefly is the lack of a third party, thanks to the innovative smart contract. An app like Venmo allows one to send money to anyone, however, moving those funds to a bank account costs a fee. Plus, moving fiat often takes days to arrive. Sending money over a decentralized app, however, means there aren't any or very little costs to be paid. This saves users money on fees, and considering decentralized transactions are almost instant, it saves them time as well. Of course, dApps don't run on centralized servers either. An advantage decentralized platforms have is they're invulnerable to all types of attacks, as there's no physical device to target. Not only does this make the network more secure, but it also means there's no downtime. Accessing these applications is always possible. Dapps can also apply to almost any industry, such as gaming, medical, governance and even file storage. As a result, dapp usage is almost no different from traditional applications. While users benefit from all the changes on the backend, the actual experience should be the same. This way of interacting with applications is considered Web 3.0, also referring to the decentralization of information. When the web started, it was a space full of information anyone could access. Over time, large companies harnessed or centralized. Well, these organizations provided for free that comes at the cost of providing our data, which they then sell for profit. Companies then have control over that information, know what their users like to buy, how much money they have and who they know. That control also means they can take it away. Enter Web 3.0, where dApp usage doesn't come at the cost of privacy. Instead, a user can choose to share only required information for, say, a medical checkup or a loan, and choose who sees it and for how long. Companies might pay for this access as well, ensuring that the users also profit from it. There's also the problem of trust. In a world where large companies with so-called high security are leaking usernames, emails and passwords, it's hard to trust anyone completely. That's all for this video. I will explain what decentralized autonomous organizations are in another short video. So don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell notification button.